Good day, comic fan. Comics of the Voice here. Today, it's an A-OK. -okay. Uh, one of my fellow employees at work, one of my students in one of my classes at work, uh, we talked about comics, and he says he's got a bit of a stack. So I came in after my holidays, and there was a bag inside of uh, one of my toolboxes, and it was just loaded with comics. Like, it's a stack like this, and I've got it kind of broken into piles over here. None of it's bagged and bored. Well, some of it's bagged with really ancient bags from back in the day, but it's a mixed bag of stuff. I've got it somewhat organized, and there's some neat stuff in here, including a couple of coverless books. I got some runs, some Star, Star Trek amethyst and then just a mixed bag horror dc marvels all kinds of cool stuff so this may take a little bit of time to go through well the the um the series i can go through fast so let's check out the stuff that i picked up stay tuned <laughs> So I thought this was pretty cool, finding all this neat stuff. Might even take some of this stuff out of the bags because these bags look pretty ancient. And yeah, my hands already got that old paper, mildewy kind of smell. You know the smell. You know the. You know what's going on, comic fam. You know this stuff. God, what is this? Amazing Heroes number ninety-five. 1986 so like this is stuff from my childhood so amazing heroes got johnny quest on the cover there a lot of this stuff i don't know a whole lot about this one i i, I saw this one when it came out i remember this one 1986 hawkman special number one one of the few bagged and boarded and again this one's the bag is one of those old poly bags from 1986 and it's probably been in there since 86 and has not been removed mm -hmm. So thank you, fellow employee. You know who you are. He wanted to remain anonymous, but all of his uh, fellow classmates were all pointing them out to me. When I was asking, I said, who the hell, who, who gave me all these? You know, and they pointed fingers and named fingers. Named names and pointed fingers and pointed na fing names and named fingers. Action Comics Weekly, as I remember when that was out weekly, that was killing me. Holy Jesus, every week they came out with a book and it was starting to get way too much. X-Men Annual Number 8. That's cool. Looks like a little Dazzler action going on there. Or is that magic? Might be magic. The Book of Fairy, Brownie Carlton and Peter Gross. DC Vertigo, 97. Frickin' artwork's actually really cool on this now that I'm looking at it. Wow, that is some wicked artwork. Like all this stuff down there at the bottom, that's pretty cool. Wow, I just kind of, you know, went through these things very quickly. I haven't figured out value on none of this stuff, or it's probably all like 50 cent bin. The team of the future is here now. Centurion's Power Extreme. Number one. So, you know, collector's item. All oh, collector's items. Damage control. When the superheroes need help, they call damage control. Number three in a four issue series. I knew we were getting into trouble wearing these costumes. Trust me, it's good for business. The big hype. It was a disaster. That looks funny. Don't remember that one. Oh, I've seen this one before. Dazzler, number 22. We got ourselves a little bit of angel action down there. Getting clobbered. And she's getting one of those pow right in the kisser. Excalibur, number 38. I don't think it's uh, much of an issue. Now we get into some neat stuff. Like this is some 20 centers. So what year was this one? It's got to be the 70s. Yep, 1974, 75, volume one, number five. Rima, the Jungle Girl. DC, Bronze Age, goodness, 20 center. And that one's actually in pretty nice shape too. Oh, it's got a date stamp on it. 
September 18th, 1974. I like the date stamps. You know, some people freak out about that kind of stuff, but I don't. I don't mind that. You know, it gives a little bit of, a little bit of history, a bit of idea where it was coming from. Amazing Adventures featuring Killraven, Warrior of Worlds, number 34, 25 center. So that's got to be into the 80s, I would imagine. Looks like it. Maybe not. Oh, 75. Okay, so that's mid 70s. It's surprising it was a quarter. Holy Jesus. Way to go, Marvel. Jacking up the prices. Oh, this one, I have a copy of this already. This is uh, annual number one, I believe. Is it annual one? Oh, maybe not. Annual something. Can't read it. Too far away. Getting old eyes. It's an annual. Green arrow. Oh, hitting things. Hitting my mic. Making noises. Uh-oh. What the hell is this thing? Martin Wagner's Hepicat. Number one. December 96. All right some animals doing it while buddy's sitting in a lecture hall or something and he's dreaming of his girl oh this is hilarious captain carrot and his amazing zoo crew number four 60 center newsstand of course they were all newsstand back then this one here is alien stalker don't know that's a weird one aliens stalker all right and here we go some 20 cent horror from marvel beware the monsters are coming beware slade curin you say you will do anything to gain the secret of eternal life then this is my price you must slay the woman you love the gypsy's curse uh, she got a pretty steep price so you can live forever but you got to kill your favorite person doesn't sound like much of a deal to me oh we got some charlton classics ghostly tales number 163 this is a weird cover from out of the depths kind of a very plain cover on that one it's colorful but a lot of description to it there some kind of shady oozy thing coming out oh another one another ghostly tales charlton's number 70 from the haunted house if the general pushes that button mankind will perish sullivan's got to stop him before it's too late but maybe just maybe sullivan can stop him anyhow the button 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 apparently it's the button button the guy looks like uh dr strange kind of looking dude Chevy Chevelle Noir mature readers issue 30 wow this one this one went on for a while got an issue 30 holy crap eh oh got two of them Chevelle Noir 36 it's all dark horse comics pretty neat artwork on it don't know what those are all about oh there we go the mask I remember this series that came out. I might even have number one of this. Pyramid of Peril. It's issue two of The Mask. All right, you Spidey fans, here we go. Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, number 11. With a little Medusa action. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What have we got here? I know this issue. This is Marvel Comics Group, Marvel Tales Starring Spider-Man, issue 137, re-presenting the now classic very first appearance of Spider-Man. I remember this because it's actually, it's, I think it's inside. Is that it? Bonus feature, here is... A sturdy Steve Ditko's version of the cover to Amazing Fantasy number 15 presented here in color for the very first time. So this is what Steve Ditko's cover was supposed to look like on AF15. In color. So this is the first time that has ever appeared. And it was in this issue where they've got like the OG 
I remember this issue. This is actually worth something. I know in high grade it's it's a little bit of money, but low, this is pretty low grade, so not worth a whole lot. Actually, you know, it needs a good cleaning and a press. It's actually no rips. It's just got some creases, a couple of little color breaking bends, a bunch of spine ticks. All oh, the staples are kind of rusty though. So yeah, unless I get the staples cleaned. Stalker, DC, beware a man with a stolen soul. Which issue is this? Number four. So yeah, so we're actually getting some pretty neat books. This was this was a cool find. That is that's actually a decent book. Oh, more Sh Charlton comics. Some old, some new scary tales. Mr. Jigsaw. Alright, DC goodness again. So this is like all 70s. 20 centers. Robin Snyder's Revolver, this month's sci-fi adventure Star Guider, number one, two dollars in Canada. When did this sucker come out? Oh, it's all black and white inside. 1985. 1985. I was 14, heading into 15. Oh, we got some old Superman, 25 center, number 294. Bronze Age Superman. Icons 2 of 4. Tigra. No idea. No idea what that's all about. So yeah, quite the mixed bag. Oh, this is a cool one. Now, this is from, yeah, these are uh, Terminator books. Special Collector's Edition number 1. And I got number 2 as well. So we got Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. Now this next one I ended up showing Mr. Andrews because I was surprised to see it in here too and it's actually in pretty decent shape. It's got a couple little chews on the bottom. You know, it's nothing high grade, but Walt Disney's The Black Hole. This is the conclusion of the movie Into the Awesome Void where space and time collide. So that's The Black Hole. I'm sure that Mr. Andrews, Mr. Andrews has this one. Oh, this is a great one too. Bernie Wrightson. Master of the Macabre, number four. Not a high value book, but the artwork is absolutely stellar. And then this one here, I didn't find a whole lot of information about it, but it's not really a high grade. It's a little bit different. It's bigger than a comic book. It's almost magazine size, but not quite. Almost reminds me of the Golden Age books. So that is Strange Brew. So that is those piles. Then I got a couple of books that are coverless. Looks like it's a Superman uh, one shot, just coverless. I don't know if it's missing any other, any other wraps. I don't think so because on the other side of the page was the uh, title one. And then I've got Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen. This one is issue number 108 from 1968. So that's an old one, coverless. And then this one here, it took me a little bit of research to figure out what this was. This is a 80-page uh, giant magazine number eight from 1965. Missing the cover and then the back page of it's all tattered. But it's missing front cover, back cover, and this last page is tore up pretty good. So those are my three coverless books. Then we got a whole pile of amethysts. I'm not going to go through all these. I mean, I got one through eight of amethysts. I got one through three of the weird. And then a stack. Star Trek comics with next generation. A whole bunch of mix match issues in there. Uh, first Star Trek of an ongoing series and then the rest I got annuals and just a whole bunch of Star Trek books. So there we go. That is a pretty decent stack of freaking books. This pile and then this pile. I had fun taking this home I'll tell you. 
shopping bag sitting on the subway sitting on the train going through all these so that is pretty freaking cool thank you so much i'm gonna love going through these and reading these books i'll probably do giveaways on a lot of them because some of the series i'm just not into so i'll do a giveaway or um uh, my guy matt usually takes stuff in trade too so we'll get them to him and then he can put them out in the universe so that is my big a-okay -okay. hope you guys enjoyed i know it's a little bit longer this time but we'll see you on the next one take care